Hey, how's everyone doing out there today? So I'm bringing you another video that's similar to the one I did a couple months ago. It's brought to you by the Pro Clips. It's, if you guys don't know what these are, they're, in my opinion, the best phone mounts out there for your car. Um, they're custom made, so you get different like parts in it depending on what car you drive. Like there's one part that goes on to the actual car itself. And like I said, each one is particular to a certain model. So they fit, and the nice part about it is they fit in the little gaps of your car. So like this is going on the 2019 Pilot. So I chose this one that goes by the steering wheel, goes up on the part of the dash like that. And then you have to choose what mount you want. So this is going for a iPhone XS. Um, it'll fit with a medium case, the same one I have in my car actually. And then this part screws to this part right here. So it's all nice qual quality. Um, mine I love, I can't say enough good things about it. Um, I've tried like, you probably remember, maybe three different ones and they all fall apart. This one is so sturdy. Um, it looks like it's made for the car because it fits in the little seams of your car already. And the plastic they use is really nice, heavy duty, has a nice texture to it, looks OEM. So can't say enough good things about Pro Clips. Um, I'll put a link in the description where you can get it. Like I said, um, it's like a couple steps. You just pick what car you have, of course, and then you pick where you want to mount. They have a few different ones for each vehicle. If you want to mount somewhere on the dash or some, like for the cords, you can mount them on with a center console part. And then you just pick what kind of um, mount you want. You know, if you have a, a big max phone, um, you need a different mount than this. I mean, these adjust, but they have different ones. And if you have no case on it, they have ones that have um, a soft material inside so it doesn't scratch it, which is, you know, that's awesome that they think of all that kind of stuff. So it's all per, um, personalized for your vehicle. Okay, so like the other video, I'll go ahead and I'll open these up and I'll show you how to um, put them together. It's pretty basic. You just, what you're doing is you're screwing this thing to, you can see here, right there. And you pick whatever four you want. If you mount it, screw it to the top four, then it's gonna raise this mount a little bit. If you want a little bit lower, you go to the bottom four holes. So it depends how you want it. Um, I'll show you inside the vehicle so then you can get an idea like how you guys wanna do it, okay? So let's get started. Okay guys, so um, here's the pieces. So we got the actual holder here for the phone and you got the bracket right here. Okay, and you got nice detailed instructions. I actually have pictures, so that makes it easy. Because sometimes you're like wondering where this piece actually goes. They even give you this, this little trim tool. So you can help separate the like part of the trim to fit it in easier. Um, and then you just got the screws right there. So pretty basic, like I said, this just screws on to this part. So on the one I chose, it's gotta go right here. I'll show you, get a better view. So this piece right here, see it has a little flange on it. It's actually going right between this part right here. There's a little gap here. So it fits in between the speedometer cluster and then this foam padded um, dash right there. So it's gonna go like, like this. And then this piece here will snap onto this edge. It's a nice um, secure fit. Um, I don't think you need the on um, the trim piece, if you look at it the way it's angled here, you just, if you go in like this, it'll get underneath that, that lip, okay? And then you just pop it, I'll show you. Okay, so you're gonna get underneath, and it's not, not too difficult, I'm doing it with one hand, so I'm gonna, do right there. Okay, now it goes underneath, okay? Right there, so it's underneath, and then you'll just flex it this way, okay? And then we're gonna snap it into the side of the vent here. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. There we go. Perfect, so that's how it's gonna look. And what I like about these mounts, it does not impede the use of these. So you still slide side to side, which is nice, and then up and down. A lot of the other ones I've gotten um, over the years, like they clip to the vent itself, so then you can't go up and down because there's a little wedge in here. And you can't go side to side, so you kinda, it goes right in front of the vent, so you kind of lose this vent. That's what I didn't like about it. Where this one, as you can see, you can still use it. It's still useful. You know, and then your 
this piece is gonna bolt to here. So it depends how you want it. Now, I'm looking at it here. I will probably screw it to the, the bottom four here. That's what I'll probably do. So then it sits like this. And remember, this is on a pivot right there. So it pivots. Um, I'm just thinking if I put it on the top two, it's a little high. And you stick your phone in, it's going to stick kind of in front of the windshield. And it's my wife's car, so make it a little easier for her. I'm going to put it just down here on the bottom. Okay? So let me go ahead and screw this. It's pretty basic. Like I said, the easiest way to do this is you take this. There's a screw down in this hole. You remove it, so then this bracket comes off. And then you can get to the holes here. So I'll go ahead and take it off and I'll show you. So a little screw in there. It stays in too. So you unscrew it and then you're left with this, this little piece. So now you can take this and screw it into here. And remember, I'm going to do the bottom too. So that's how you get to it. And then once you screw that in, then you just simply put this piece back on and screw it in. And then what you want to do, you want to set it how you like. So if you tighten it all the way, it won't swivel. So you're going to swivel it how you like, like the angle you like. And then um, tighten it all the way down so then it won't move on you. And I, it's neat too because you can angle it away where if you have the, the newer phones, when you're sitting in your driver's seat, you just glance at it and then it unlocks with a face ID. So that's pretty neat. So let me go ahead and I'll, I'm going to take this piece off. I'll, I'm going to screw this to this piece here and show you what it looks like. Okay? Okay, guys. So... Here's this piece now. Now we got the, the mount and then this back piece that's gonna attach to the phone mount here. So I got this screwed in nice and tight. So now I'm gonna put this piece, just like we had it, and then it just held on with one screw here in the middle, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and then show you that. Here's the whole product. Okay, so I went ahead and put the, just tighten this down. I didn't tighten all the way, so you can see right here. See it moves? See how it pivots? So I'm going to wait and do that until I get it on the car, and then I'll, you can see the angle that you want it, and then you tighten it down. So um, I'll go ahead and put it on. The easy thing they include here, you just peel this back, a little bit of double-sided tape, so then when you stick it in here, it just holds a little bit better. Doesn't really need it. Um, Cause like you saw when I put it in there, it's like wedged on there tight. It's just what I think it does more than anything, it's padding. So, I mean, they do think of everything. So this won't rattle too. So if it's just plastic against this hard plastic on the inside, it'll have a tendency to rattle where this adds some um, cushion. Just like on the one on my cord, it does the same thing. Adds like a little um, barrier. So really nice, just nice quality and just fill in it too. I mean, you see the grain on it. It's just nice plastic. It's not no no cheap thing here. And I know they're a little bit um, more expensive than the other ones, but like I said, you kind of are going to get what you pay for it, right? So expensive phone. You don't want it falling down, you know, scratching this kind of stuff up. You know, I would highly recommend it. And they always have sales too, you know. Just check around. Um, they always have promo codes that you can use. You know, that always save you some money. So let me go ahead and I'm going to stick this here and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all put together. So here's the final product, guys. As you can see, snaps into the side of the vent here. Snaps into the seam here. Doesn't pry it away. Because as you know, there's a lot of gaps around the car if you like, look at it. So it's nice how they custom make each one. And the only other option for the pilot you can either have it mounted here or there's one to mount it here, right here. I just didn't like that one personally because then you have to look down if you're looking at your phone for any reason. Where this is, I like it always, like the a cord I have up here too. So you're not taking your eyes off the road. So that's what it looks like. Okay. I'll put the, the phone in here. Just slides in, just like so. It's nice too because nothing's on the bottom. So you want to use your charger. You just plug it in here. You know, it's perfect. Will fit. Doesn't get in the way. Your blinker goes up. Blinker goes down. Easy. Doesn't doesn't block it. It's really nice. There's not a whole lot of space to work with here either. So it's like they did a good job where it doesn't, when you're driving right here, you can't even see it. I mean, you see a little corner here. 
Doesn't block your speedometer. Not too much, your field of vision. I mean, like I said, that's on the, the lower four right here on the bracket. So if you raise this up even more, this phone's gonna stick up. That's what, what I didn't want, so that's good enough. You know, my wife likes it right there, so that's good. You know, I feel like any more. I mean, I guess what you could do, you could move this down too. It'll go down a little bit more, you know, but then you're gonna get where it kind of interferes with her blinker. So I think that's perfect. You know, so it's just here. Take it out, it slides in really easy because if you look here, see how they have these notches, these grooves? Well, the phone slides right in there and then it, it kind of rounds down. So it holds your phone here. It won't slide through the bottom, but there's no bottom piece on it. So I like that. It's really easy to slide your phone in one hand and you can adjust this. You just, it can focus here on these, these screws. You loosen these two screws up right here and then these arms expand out or in. So if you want a little tighter fit, you squeeze them in on your phone and then you set them. So really custom custom fit and it looks good makes it really easy so you, if you guys haven't tried pro clips i would definitely check them out um, i'll put the website below in the description like i said they have clips for probably every make and model of car you know and then you have all these different options if you have a a bigger phone if you have a phone that you don't use cases on they have all that you just have to specify each part you just go through it. You have to choose two different parts. So, um, again, I appreciate it, guys. Appreciate all your support. I do. Um, I'll have another mod video coming shortly. Again, thanks for the feedback. Every time I launch a video, I love you. How you guys give me the feedback. You guys have been really supporting me from the very beginning. I appreciate that. I don't forget it. And I hope everyone has a great day. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks again.